and welcome to the weekly horoscopes for this powerful week ahead from Monday the 6th of June right through to Sunday. So I'm going to go through each sign and I'm going to timestamp them and pop them in the description box below to bring in some messages for your personal journey and your twin flame journey. So I'm going to use two piles, two card decks. We're going to use the twin flame journey oracle. This is by Mystic Moon. It's a very beautiful deck. And we're going to bring in the self love oracle and I'm going to use this in the Daily Angel readings for tomorrow as well. So really beautiful deck. So it gives us some guidance about ourself, but also about our twin flame journey and anything we're dealing with this week. So thank you for being here, sending you so much love. So I've got the signs I'm actually using today. Instead of just saying the signs, I'm using the cards from the Barbary Zodiac Oracle. So I've got all the signs here. So I'm just going to shuffle them first. So it's a bit more interesting. Instead of just doing them all in order and remember your sign will be time stamped in the description box below okay let's do this then so we're going to start with leo leo's wanting to come out here so we're going to start with leo welcome leo so let's see what you need to know today so what's your energy for this coming week what do we need to know what do we need to know, please, angels? What's the energy for this coming week? Here we go. So first of all, we've got astrology. Very interesting. And there's a motorbike going past. Things are speeding up. So maybe you're interested in astrology or you connect with the moon cycles or what's going on with the planets. And it brings in power. And there's a ritual here. So this is about you knowing that things take time and things fall into place in divine timing. And the angels are saying to you, connect with who you are, go within, you know yourself. And you also know that you are more powerful than any astrological thing that's going on. You know, for example, Mercury retrograde has power over us if we believe it to be so. If we feel like everything's running smoothly anyway, things run smoothly anyway. So it's about you taking control of events that you may think are out of your control by knowing that you have the power to control the way you see that. And I'm feeling that with your twin flame journey, anything that may be going on at work or around you. And remember, you are Leo. You are strong. You are the lion. You can handle anything. And in your twin flame journey, we've got reinvention. So I really feel this is the masculine here wanting to start again, transforming, wanting to reinvent themselves around these you know, astrological events that are going on right now, like the super moon that's coming in as we move towards the Lionsgate portal. So there's a reinvention and he's becoming who he's meant to be. He's not quite there yet, but he will get there. And he's like, he's saying to you, bear with me, I will get there. And it's taking time. So it's done right. So there's a reinvention coming into your connection. That means it's going to be new. It's going to feel new. It's going to feel wonderful. It's going to be unlike what it was before. It's going to be better than it was before. And there's going to be lots of blessings you can't yet see. So reinvention. And reinvention means reunion, rekindling the love, you know, sorting things out. It's that re-energy about bringing it back together. So a great week for you. You know, the angels are reminding you that everything right now is falling into place. And that's what the astrological energy of this card means for you. It means that things are lining up for you. There's an alignment going on and a reinvention to bring things back together at the right time. So remember, you are a Leo, you're strong, you're powerful. If you're cross-watching and your masculine is a Leo, then this is showing you between now and the Lionsgate portal, he's going through huge shifts and changes. So trust in that. Trust that this is kind of a rite of passage to move him towards you. I hope that helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Pisces, welcome. So let's see what's going on in your connection this week. What do we need to know? Here we go. And what's the energy around you? What do we need to know, please, angels? I'll just do another one. What a clear card. There it is. Jumped out. Won't get much clearer than it jumping out. So the energy is, I am the light of my soul, third eye chakra, number 22. So First of all, the number 22 is about universal power, connecting with the universe. And the third eye is about opening the eye. So see through the illusion of anything that's going on. And we've got as well divine timing. So remember your journey is in divine timing. Everything is absolutely as it's meant to be. So trust in that. 
Okay, I'm not going to quite show this card because it's a little bit raunchy, but the energy is about you being you, remembering your power as a divine feminine. You are a beautiful, strong person and you are gorgeous inside and out and you're connected with your soul, you're connected with the universe and when you remember who you are, then your light shines and you say, I am the light of my soul. I know in my heart and soul that my journey is in divine timing and there is nothing to fear. So trust in that energy, trust in who you are. Your journey is moving forward in divine time. And as I'm saying it, there's a huge bee flying around the window. It just pulled me in there. So I feel that you're going to see bees as a reminder of the miracle that's moving into your life. The miracle of your union, the miracle of communication and the miracle of blessings to come. But I feel there's some decisions that give me tooth pain decisions that need to take place first so remember your journey is all happening now and it is as it's meant to be and it's in divine timing and there's nothing to fear i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon scorpio welcome so let's see what the energy is around your connection this week what do we need to know for scorpio please angels want to clear cards there we go we've got two cards coming out for your connection and one for you. Here we go. So we've got soul lesson truth. So there's a lot of truth coming out this week. Okay, truth. You know your truth. And you have to look within for that truth when you go through doubt or fear. And this is the throat chakra. So when there's silence or distance or you're not communicating with your twin, remember that everything is on path. This is the number 17. And you're being reminded with that number that your journey is on the right path. So during the silence and those quiet times, there's so much thinking going on within the masculine that he needs that time and room and space and silence to process it right so he can access the truth within him. And I'm feeling Archangel Zachiel around your connection, allowing your masculine the energy to do that. So the throat chakra, if you get a croaky throat or you know, you start coughing, you don't know why, or anything's going on with the throat chakra, you know it's healing, you know it's healing, and he says, listen, listen to the silent sounds, because we get communicated through telepathy, and the silence, when we're meditating, breathing, we receive answers, your masculine is receiving answers right now, how to move this forward, what to say, what to do. So there's a lot of power coming into your life this week through all the ways of communicating, especially through things you hear. So listen to what the universe is speaking to you. Thank you for giving me fear and saying to you in other ways when the fear comes up. They're giving me again. I need to swallow. So, you know, if you're struggling to swallow or there's anything connected with good or acid reflux, it's all about the throat chakra healing and fear being released about communicating. So we've got crossroads. They gave me that song, meet me at the crossroads, crossroads. So there's a crossroads either in your life right now or within your connection. I definitely feel this is the masculine at a crossroads, at that fork in the road deciding what path to take and remember it's not about choosing you know you or someone else it's about him choosing himself so he's at the crossroads right now and that's why you have to be patient and have faith in the silent times because he's making decisions and you if you're at a crossroads in your life maybe in a work decision or you need to change something in your life go within because you'll receive the answers in the silence and we've got purge <clears throat> they're giving me again this feeling in the throat here so purge is about cleansing and you know this is about tears crying releasing you know being around water healing energy so there's a lot happening to purge things out so something is being purged out of the like your life or their life to bring you together so trust in what you hear so they're giving me like the sound in, intuitively of um droplets of water you know, like drip, 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 that kind of thing. It takes time for things to happen, but it happens the right way. And water is very cleansing. So maybe you want to listen to some water sounds, you know, the sound of music. They give me as well that, that the sound of music, the film. So, you know, there might be some hidden meaning in there for you with the sound of music. The hills are alive with the sound of music. It's a love story, you know, about having confidence in who you are. 
So listen to your own truth because things are happening and moving forward. And that's the message coming through. I hope that helps, okay? Libra, welcome. So let's see what's happening within your connection this week. What do we need to know for Libra? Wow. And what's the energy around you? What do we need to know? Two cards. So first of all, we've got breathe in prana, heart chakra. So, you know, when you're dealing with anything, especially matters of the heart, like your love life or anything that may be causing a little bit of struggle or pain, breathe. Breathe in prana. Prana is the air. The air that we breathe that connects us with source and calms us down. And, you know, if you're having any heart issues, whether it's ascension or palpitations or you're feeling anything in the heart space, breathe. Go out in nature. Go in the garden. Open the window and breathe in that air. Breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth and you'll feel better. We've got ritual grounding. So ground yourself this week too. And the way we ground ourselves, look at the sun coming out here. So when the sun gets bright or overwhelming or this journey overwhelms us, we're not sure what to do, our feelings overwhelm us and we feel it all in the heart, ground yourself. Go in nature. Are you really being guided to do that today? Go in nature or this week, go in nature, take your shoes off, feel the ground under your feet, walk around the home with nothing on your feet. So obviously make sure that it's, it's clean, but you know, make sure that you are connecting with the ground from the crown to the tips of your toes because you'll receive messages your clarity will come in from above and it will penetrate you and it will go all the way through you and you'll know what to do and we've got action so there's definite action in your connection this week and you might need to keep your feet on the ground a little bit because you know this is a seagull and seagulls are masters of the air the mass of the ground, the sea, so they harness all their power, but this is also a great symbol of freedom, so feeling free, you know, great sign as well of things manifesting for you right now, you know, your masculine wanting to come towards you, so if that gets a bit overwhelming, you know, if you feel that, just close your eyes, breathe, go in nature, and it will calm you down, but this is a huge sign about them finding their freedom to be with you, and you finding your freedom, and everything moving forward and into place. So trust the love, you are safe. I hope that helps. I feel you're going to see seagulls this week as a great sign of freedom and your dreams manifesting and things moving ahead. Gemini, welcome. What's the energy around you? Remember, Gemini, I'm doing your daily angel readings right now as well. So you get a daily dose of Liz action. So if you want to know what's happening on a daily basis, you can tune in with that too. We've got another full week and then the week after we go into um cancer so we've got solitude so you may find this week that you want some quiet time you want some time to think and process and work things out maybe your masculine is the one wanting to come to you but you're the one putting barriers up a little bit because you need time for you i definitely feel this is your energy so this is you maybe experiencing masculine energy the closer you get to union, the more likely you are to experience it in all ways. So have some time out for you. You may feel you just don't want to be around people. You want to turn off your phone. You want some youth time. So what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? We've got Hopopono prayer, the Hopopono healing. Okay, so saying to yourself, I'm sorry. So you're forgiving yourself for anything you think you've done wrong or anything that may have hurt you. I'm sorry, please forgive me. I love you, thank you. So whether you're saying it to yourself or the universe or your twin flame energetically, you're doing a lot of healing this week, forgiveness energy to heal and move things forward. So time alone is needed to process and work things out for you. And again, you know, if you're cross-watching here, if your masculine's a Gemini, they definitely need quiet time this week. So give it to them freely and forgive and heal. But a lot of healing energy coming in this week. It's also about self-love, self-care, giving back to the self and listening to what your body needs to move things forward. I hope that helps. Very powerful. Aries, welcome. So let's see what the energy is coming in around you this week then. The energy around Aries, please, angels. I've got two cards for you. And the energy around you, what you need to know. What do we need to know? Here we go. So first of all, we've got flow with life and that really resonates as well with the daily angel reading for tomorrow so this week Aries just go with the flow 
take every moment as it comes, every day as it comes, and just try and enjoy the journey. Because remember, everything's about free will. That's why this journey can take time. So you're realizing that, you know, this journey, it's all ordained by God and it's all sacred and, you know, everything's destiny, everything's as it's meant to be. What's meant for you will be for you. And you, tr you truly do trust in divine time and all these things. But you also know that you and your person have both got free will. So you're surrendering here. You know, you're saying, I now surrender. I give it to God. I trust this love. And when you let go in that way, everything you want falls forward. Everything comes forward because the pressure's gone. And that your masculine will be kind of responding to the way you feel and the way you are. Because if you're in a pressuring energy, they're going to pull away. If you're relaxed and breathing and going with the flow and doing you and just enjoying life, they're going to be more inclined to come towards you. And that's what I'm feeling. Now, look at this recognition. So it's recognition of what this love is. And this is also a card about reconciliation, reunion, coming together, sorting things out, but recognizing what this love is. And I feel around the full moon as well. You know, it's going to be a super moon this time. So very powerful. So this is you realizing that just go with the flow. It's going to work out. It's going to be fine. It's going to manifest for you. There's magic flowing into your life and there's mutual recognition. So I feel some of you will definitely be coming together, possibly coming into union as well. But this is more likely to be communication or, you know, talking about the future, coming together, realizing even though they have free will that you're meant to be all along, you know, they know that they want to be with you. So free will, you know, the end of the day, we were given that by God so we can ask for help. We were given that by God so that we choose to remember who we are and come into alignment with our true self and reignite that connection with him. And that's really what free will is. We've all got free will, so we have to ask for heavenly assistance. But what's meant for us in our lives will come into our lives regardless of what's going on. So this is recognizing that and understanding that. And allowing things to flow. So I feel you're just kind of in the energy this week, Aries, where you're just truly letting go and surrendering. And allowing the universe to bring to you everything that you desire. I hope that helps. What a beautiful message. Capricorn, welcome. So let's see what's coming in for you then for this powerful week ahead. I've got three cards for your journey. And what do we need to know for you? What do we need to know? So the message coming through is soul lesson surrender. And it says sacral chakra. So we've got number five. Now, they just gave me the gnashing of the teeth. Now, when that happens, it means decisions. And you've got the number five, which is about change. So there's changes and decisions to change coming into your life and surrender. The angels are saying to you this week to bring in the stability that you seek and to move everything forward. Surrender. Give it to heaven. If you've got time to worry, you've got time to pray. When we ask, it is given. So call on the angels and tap in with your inner child. Surrender to what your inner child wants. Have some fun. Relight your fire. That's what they're giving me. Playful energy. Talking to the angels. You know, lightening the load. Feeling less serious about things. And knowing that there's a fresh start ahead. And I love this. Something is being born here. It's a very fertile time for growth. And I love that because in this week's weekly reading, that's the message coming through. It's a fertile time for growth. So the way we attract in our dreams and help them to grow is by giving it to God, surrendering, trusting that it's all falling into place because you are twin flames. And if there was any doubt there, replace it with faith because there's your sign. This is showing you in your twin flame journey, there's a fresh start coming. And the fresh start is going to be more playful. It's going to be more fun. You're going to have more light-hearted energy between you because, you know, you're connecting with your inner child. So you're releasing all that serious energy and connecting with the true self within you. And that's moving things forward for you. So surrender is the key to bring in what you want. Really powerful. Aquarius, welcome. So let's see what we need to know for the week. What's happening with Aquarius, please, angels? What do we need to know for Aquarius? 
here we go we've got cleanse and protect and feel this one moving at the bottom too so this is a great week for you to cleanse yourself to cleanse your energy maybe cleanse crystals or you know your spiritual tools but there's a lot of cleansing coming in and healing look at this healing connection of the heart so going in nature breath work meditation connecting with your heart and their heart feeling the love it's all going to move things forward for you but a lot of healing and you know that when things aren't quite moving forward or they're not quite ready you're being protected and we've got refocus so a lot of refocus energy here to move things ahead so the angel saying just change your focus back to yourself focus on you focus on your goals and dreams and trust the love so cleanse yourself so definitely feel if you've been too focused on your twin or too focused on the timing or any of those things it's time to refocus and to give back to you and you know maybe just do you for a little while cleansing yourself doing things that make you feel good bringing in healing and archangel Raphael is all around you moving things forward and he feels like your twin needs to refocus their mind to work out what they need to change so a lot of healing energy coming in around changes and moving you towards the future and the horse is about freedom and they're giving me fear you know release freedom because well you're the same release the fear of freedom maybe you don't want to be free you're thinking i just want to be with my twin i don't want to be alone they're giving me a lot of fear and you're releasing that because freedom is power doing you feeling good being excited about life this is the time right now to focus on you and allow the masculine to find his way by himself i hope that helps have a great week and i'll see you soon virgo welcome so what's the energy around you for this week then what do we need to know i've got two cards coming out for your connection what do we need to know for virgo please angels so what do we need to know a clear card and there it is can't get clearer than it jumping out of the deck so the message is the gift of dance i love this because this is the card that come out for tomorrow's daily angel reading so as we move forward just go with the flow dance with life find the light-hearted vibration within you and feel at peace and it says ascending because you're ascending so the way we ascend is we learn we grow we go through physical things our dna shifts and changes we could become into awareness of things we didn't know before we get downloads of information we just know things we're moving into a higher vibration so we don't want to be around anything toxic or fearful or fear-based so just go with the flow dance with life maybe dance is a good way for you to express yourself to move your body as you go through these ascension feelings but i'm seeing this as putting down the oars of the canoe and allowing the current to take you where it wants to take you instead of trying to fight against the current and we've got karmic partner so definitely if your masculine is with a karmic partner or you're with a karmic partner you are both moving out of that situation why because you are ascending so you don't want to be around that person any longer and remember it's all falling into place so if you're thinking about the karmic partner stop thinking about the karmic partner because nobody and nothing compares to you so just put down the oars of the canoe your twin knows exactly what they need to do they know that you are perfect for them in this moment now so release that fear you know they show me as well someone on the phone worrying you know thinking what's going on so i feel that you may be checking up on them you know and the karmic partner is checking up on your masculine so it's like a cycle so to break that cycle put the energy back into yourself dance do yoga do things that move your body that get that energy that's pent up inside out and then you realize it's all happening for soul growth because karmic partners are catalysts that move you into union and always bring blessings in so we grow and heal like for me when i dealt with karmic partners you know that i was dealing with catalysts involved with but neither were married or they were always spending time with other people even when me and george were getting near to union you know he was flirting with other people and spending time around people and i just got to the point where i just gave it to god i thought you know what i'm over all of this i'm better than all of this i'm worthy of great things and deserving of love and all the jealousy all the years i'd spent being jealous and angry and 
you know, trying to compare myself. It all went like that. And it wasn't long after that I came into union. So this is reminding you of that, to dance with life, go with the flow. You are ascending and everything is moving where it's meant to be. I hope that helps well. Cancer, welcome. And I'm a Cancerian. So I'm excited for this reading. And remember, we'll be going into your daily reading soon as well. It's not long now. Moving into Cancer energy soon. I'm excited. So what do we need to know, please, angels, for Cancer this week? Here we go. What clear messages. What do we need to know for Cancer? What do we need to know? So the energy is the gift of connection. Love it. So this is showing you that you and your twin seem to be connecting more, becoming more together, loving each other more, whether that's physically or in the 5D realm. You've got more time to connect with each other. So definitely feel a coming together. And this is beautiful. You know, this is great energy, especially, you know, as we move ahead. So you're coming together. So the gift of connection is knowing that you are already together in the, you know, in the spiritual sense. You were already in union. It's just waiting for it to align in the physical world. And we've got fall. So I definitely feel things are falling into place. That's the energy that's coming through. There's also an energy there around October time with the pumpkin and the twin flames. So between now and October, things could be falling into place. Fall is a new season where the leaves fall off the trees so new things can grow. So it's about releasing. So I feel the connection is shifting forward as, as things are released to move forward. But you're definitely connecting. Great sign about twin flames, both candles burning bright which means both of you are very aware of this connection. You want to build something. You want to mold something, create something, carve something for the future. Like the pumpkin, we carve the pumpkins and we light them up inside. So you light each other up inside and you are connecting. But I definitely feel the connection between you and your twin very strong this week. Whether you are in communication or not yet. It's coming and you're feeling connected anyway. It's a really beautiful message about what's to come, about union and things falling into place. I hope this helps. Wow. Taurus, welcome. Thank you, angels. What's the energy, please, around Taurus this week? What do we need to know? The energy around Taurus this week, what do we need to know? Wow, jumping out the deck here. The energy is soul less and joy and the heart chakra. We've got elevate support. So what I'm feeling with this is, you have, they give me the song, we are family, I've got all my sisters with me. So you have a very powerful support system right now. And that support system may contain soul sisters or soul brothers, soul family. This could also be your real sister or someone you see as a sister like a friend. And I'm also seeing same sex twin flame connections here too, that you are supported, but However you're seeing this card, this is saying to you that you are supported. You have all the support you need from heaven, from physical people, people you're connecting with and from inside. And that's elevating your energy. It's helping you to have faith in changes and new beginnings and what's coming in. And the soul lesson is joy. So when you're following your heart and listening to your heart and tapping in with your heart, you feel joy. You feel bliss. You feel supported you feel happy because you know that the universe has got you and you are safe and that's the energy coming in and we've got mute so even if your masculine is quiet and silent this week you know you are supported you know your journey is moving forward you can feel that you just yourself may have to put things on mute which means you slow down you quiet your mind you don't speak as much and you listen because when we listen, we receive messages. We tap in with heaven. We know we are safe. So again, I'm seeing actually seeing this like a door open, a big portal opening to what you want. So everything is happening for your higher good right now. You are learning to choose joy, learning to choose happiness, bliss and magic in your life. And you have that deep bond with people who get you. Soul family, definitely feel this is like a support system of soul sisters. Like me here, I have all of you, you know, so you may have that support too, or you're feeling it, you feel supported regardless of what's going on, whether your masculine is communicating or is silent, you feel good about what you're doing right now. 
and you feel safe. And words aren't needed. You know, in the twin flame journey, words aren't needed because you are telepathic and you feel each other and you connect with each other. And I definitely feel any same-sex connections coming together here, regardless of the situation. But it's showing you definitely feeling togetherness with soul family, soul sisters, and that amazing divine feminine power that lights you up inside. So that's what to focus on this week and allow the universe to do the rest. I hope that helps, okay? We've got Sagittarius, welcome. So what's the energy, please, angels, around Sagittarius this week? What do we need to know for Sagittarius? So the energy is, the answer is yes, wow. So, and look at the fire, love it. When you're in your power, Sagittarius, when you know who you are, you're the archer, you are a spiritual being, you can do anything, have anything, be anything, then things start to create and manifest in your life. So whatever you're asking, are we going to be in union? Am I going to live my best life? Is this going to recover? Is this going to happen? Whatever it is, the answer is yes. So the angels are giving you a thumbs up from heaven and saying it's all going to be okay. Whatever you want right now is moving into place. And we've got good fortune with the star. So the star, you know, in the tarot is all about magic and things happening. Good news. It's all about hope for the future and a prosperous future ahead. And this is the number 36, which is about having faith in what you are manifesting in your physical world. So there's good fortune coming in. The answer is yes. If you're thinking, is that going to happen for me? Am I going to have that thing? The answer is yes. Connected with money, career and love and health. But all that comes from within. So you've really been working on you and giving back to you and focusing on what you do want instead of what you don't want. And it's working for you. So a very quick message saying the answer is yes. You're getting a thumbs up from the universe. Whatever your burning question is, the answer is yes, and it's going to lead to happiness, joy, light and love, and a prosperous, good, fortunate future. I hope this helps. Have a great week, and I'll see you soon.